Hi guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books and today I will be showing you how to record HSD refunds from the CRA. So as you can see, this is a sample company in QuickBooks. So our refund here is $470, but we actually got refunded $480 because the CRA held on to our refund up to September 26 and because of that we earned some interest with the CRA. So it's the same concept for when you don't pay the CRA on time and they charge you interest. It's the same concept where they don't refund you on time and then they have to pay you interest. So I think that's fair that it goes both ways. So now to record the refund, again, there's a $10 difference. All you're going to do is to click record refund. The refund date would be September 26. And then it got refunded to the checking account. So you're like, okay, it's only 470, it's 480 over here. The deposit from the CRA, so the $10 difference, I will show you how to record it. So click record refund. And then here you just click, where is it? New bank deposit will date it September 26 as well. So checking and then this would be September 26. Refund from if it's not here yet, Canada. Okay, let's just make a client or a customer, Canada Revenue Agency. And then the account would be interest income. You can see interest earned. And then the sales tax would be zero rated sales. And then you can put a description here and say June 30, 2023, HSD refund interest portion. Right. And then after that, you can scroll right over here and put $10 as the amount in CAD. So this is what it's going to look like, right? September 26, interest earned. And then click save and close. And you're like, okay, that's great, but it still doesn't match. Okay, so now here we go. We'll click this and click find match. And it should match to both of those. So you see how it's matching to the tax payment and also the deposit. So with that, we'll hit save. So that's one way to do it, and it says transaction matched. Another way to do it is actually we're going to just undo what we did. So I'll go to categorized, and then this one, I'll click undo. So you'll see the second way that we can do it. So with that, let me just delete this um, $10 deposit. Another thing you can do is just to click find match over here and then you see it's trying to match it but it doesn't know which one to match it to but we know it's this tax payment so we'll click that and you see how it says 470 there's a difference of $10 you'll click resolve and then the payee same thing Canada Revenue Agency or it might not be here. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I created it already. Okay. It doesn't want to. So we'll do it again. Canada Revenue Agency. Okay. As a customer. Save. Okay. We'll just do it there. And then the income account. Obviously, interest income. Interest earned. And then obviously zero rated sales because it's income and then you click save. So those are the two ways that you could do it. And you can see here, it's both the same thing. There's another deposit and there's a tax payment. So when you click deposit, it will look exactly like the deposit we made from before. So I hope that makes sense. So you can record it two different ways. You will end up in the same place so both will be correct if you have any other questions or there's another video that you want to see please comment them down below and once again this is ariel from fix my books helping you fix your books 
Hey guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and helping my YouTube channel grow. If there are any videos you want to see on my channel, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. I always listen to your feedback. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books.